My name's Nikki. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. Tonight, I'm just going to do a small thrift haul. Well, not really small. I'm going to do a thrift haul on what I had thrifted last week. I really didn't do any thrift hauls, but I did do a little bit of thrifting. Not much. I mean, yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, let me start off with the items that I purchased this week. How about that? Okay. Purchases. Um, I made my first purchase from eBay, so I can have a little bit of positive feedback. So, uh, if you don't know um, Emily Conway, I forget her channel name, but I will link it down below. Emily Conway, I forget her channel name, but I will link it down below. Um, and while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to me. So, I ordered, I watched a haul of Emily's that she got a bulk unboxing. Her mom bought her a bulk unboxing for, uh, because she loves her, <laughs> and I had bought, I've seen this, and this, these are the colors that, you know, I originally started with whenever I decided to become a reseller, I wanted, you know, s specific brand colors, and they were this green and blue, okay, so, um, I wanted to get this, and my boyfriend was like, this will work perfect for it, he put it together for me, but this is actually to those beads that hang down over doorways, this is what this goes to, I bought it at a thrift store, and it was all tangled up, and I was trying to untangle it, and got aggravated, and somehow the beads broke off of it. <laughs> so, but, um, he was like, why don't you do this with it? Because I'm going to put it in my YouTube videos. So, he had to show me how to do it. But it's actually cool after I, after I seen how he done it. I was like, what? So, and then, it's going to hang up on the wall, like right behind me, wherever I decide to do my YouTube videos. Let me see if I can get this right. Yeah, like that. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be nice. I like it. Thank you, Emily. I love it. It's actually, it's packaged very poorly, as you can see, very poorly. Um, not that I'll dinger in my feedback. I mean, it was, it was on, yeah, it was really poor packaging. And I remember my first package I ever sent out at Poshmark, I got negative feedback. I got a four star rating because my packaging was so poor. But I do know that that little bit did help me. Like I've never done that again. And I and I, you know, I was more careful the way I did package items because that is very. That's right. You know, I'm responsible for this person's item when it leaves my house. And if I'm packaging it poorly and it gets to them damaged, wet, what have you. Like today, it was pouring the rain. Like I'm curious to see if these are wet. But anyways, guys, that's not here. Well, yeah, it is near. This woman was doing, um, and I think she was a new seller. Um, she was doing a sell in her closet. I don't. She said it was closet closing, but I don't think her closet was closing. So I've looked at it a couple more times because I was going to purchase some more items. Because she has the decent items in her closet. She's a very small closet, and um, I mean, she was trying super hard to like get rid of this. So I ordered. I don't. I don't know how many items. I will put that somewhere right here as I'm saying this, but, um, I see a free item right now, but I don't, I think it was five items, and I paid 20 bucks for them, I know it was seven items, and I think I paid 20 bucks, and then here was a little freebie, that's cute, I could put that, Ah, it says happiness is homemade, and it's just like, that's gonna be good for like, uh, my shipping, so, you know, a few of my ribbons and stuff, that'll be, I'm going to get some use out of this. I really like this. Uh, yeah, that was nice of her. Okay, she does have a business card. Oh, this is a nice little business card. Okay, her closet name was at Mora Gilmet. It's at M-A-U-R-A-G-U-I-L-M-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. So it just has Poshmark on the bottom and three mannequins. It says, thank you so much for your order. And then it has her Poshmark closet and her name. These are really, these are really classy. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I like them. I'll probably just let her know in a message about these. You know, I'm not going to let the whole world to see. Plastic bags. I'll donate these to my thrift store. Ones that do bag sales. Okay, so. Looks like a reusable bag. I will definitely reuse this. It's just a Target bag, but I will reuse it. You good to carry mail in. five items. 
boyfriends. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, my boyfriend's birthday is coming up. I already showed it this to him. Wow, there's there's animal hair all over it. <laughs> I'm definitely not all about that. Like, I have a dog, too, and he sheds. I mean, my dog sheds. He's Even though he's short hair, he sheds entirely, like, a lot. And I don't think I've ever seen anything out with dog hair. But anyways, it don't matter. It just says it's, it's, it's his birthday coming up on uh, February the 16th. Uh, I got him this t-shirt. It says, sorry, I'm taking it. It's like a ball and chain. <laughs> he's a really, t he's a small dude. This might even be a little big on him. But it's Ace of Hearts. That's a really nice tag. This actually looks, I mean, this is a nice t-shirt. It's a medium. I've never heard of Ace of Hearts. There's the tag. Like I said, it's just a simple black t-shirt. And I was really good. I didn't show him this till I think, yesterday morning on my phone. Okay, I got these for my son. Oh, they're new attacks. I didn't even know it. But he is a big boy. Like, he's 13 years old, and he's over 6 foot. Um, so, he likes, I hate the cinched, like, joggers for boys. Like, I don't like these for boys. But he absolutely loves them. And he's a little loud like this. Like, this is him all day. You know, I told him that I had bought him some pants. I can't wait till he sees them. They were original, they're size extra large. They were originally $13. And that's what he wears is an extra large, and he wears a size 12 and a half in shoe. So, yeah, he's going to really like these. And they're, they're new condition. There's no hair on these. And then I bought me, um, I don't know if I've told anybody that I'm a makeup hoarder. Yeah, I'm a makeup hoarder. Makeup is my thing. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just love, I love makeup. And I'm not, you know, I'm girly girl, but I'm, a t I'm not, not a tomboy. Definitely not a tomboy. But I can get down and dirty. Um, but I love my makeup. No matter if I'm, you know, shooting a gun, riding a four-wheeler, hunting in the woods, or dancing in a ballroom, I will always wear makeup. You'll, you'll never see me without makeup. Never. Nobody ever does. I, I, I like my makeup. <laughs> so it's this brand new Nicole Miller set. It's an eyeshadow, it's a fingernail polish, lip liner, mascara, eyeliner, and lip gloss. So, that's actually really nice. It looks like it went on sale for $350. It's sold out at $350, which I don't care. There is no tag on this one, but it is. I've never really tried fake eyelashes, but I'm going to try them. So, I just, these are these new, um, Beauty Concepts uh, Lash Kit. And I actually went dumpster diving and got a brand new set from uh, Ulta last night, too. It was a bigger set. And then, wow. I didn't expect this to be this big. Wow. This is also Nicole Miller. It's a gift set. Okay, this was she bought this at TJ Maxx. I'm looking at the TJ Maxx tag. She did tear the clearance tag off of this. It looks like it was 9 bucks. This one's broke, guys. Okay, so I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do about this yet. I'm going to keep it, but I don't know what kind of feedback I'm going to leave. All three of these are broke inside of it, which is fine. I mean, no, it's not fine, but I mean, I can deal with that. Oh, these are purchases that I had made on Poshmark. I don't know why I purchased them, because I knew whenever I looked at them they were cheap, but I didn't know they were this cheap, and I thought they would actually maybe sell for springtime, they would sell for like 10 bucks a piece, um, I don't know. And she didn't have the brand on some of them, and I couldn't see the tags, so it was my fault. I did get seven items for 20 bucks. This one was the one I got seven items for 20 bucks, which two of them, one, two, three, four, three of them are in my closet. Items. And the first item I got, now two of them I'm going to keep, three of them are going to resell. But, um, I'm going to keep this. It's just like this nude, sparkly, it has this mesh detail right there. It has a strappy back. Super gorgeous, like really, really gorgeous. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow, yes, I cannot wait to wear this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it to, but I'm going to wear it somewhere. Maybe on Valentine's Day. Oh, no, it has a rip in it. 
and I already gave her feedback because I bought this last week. I will, I'll have my boyfriend sew that. I don't know how to sew, but he does. So, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm keeping this. This is sexy. Sexy as hell. I'm also keeping this. I've already tried it on and I actually like it. It's the only jumpsuit I've ever tried on that I actually like. It's just like this, uh, it was a Made to Magic. It's a size medium. It's just like this Hawaiian sh blue stripe floral wide leg um, jumper. Has like the ruffled uh, top. And it's really cute. I like it. I was going to pair it like with this uh, a green colored cardigan or something. I don't know. It's super cute. So those two are mine. These I'm selling. I, I wanted, I thought these would be big enough for me to wear. I don't know what I was thinking. I knew they, you know, they're size small, but I thought, I don't know why I thought they like wide leg. They're by Charlotte Russe. They're just this wide leg, nearly sheer, uh, striped, you know, career style pants. I mean, they're super cute. If they would fit me, I probably would keep these, but they won't fit me. They, they would used to, but not anymore. So that's getting sold. The next thing is this uh, little two-piece. It's probably like a bathing suit thing because this is almost sheer. But it's like this tie front. Like that. Little crop top blouse with the matching shorts. So that would be good for the summertime, for vacation, for out on the beach, you know, or poolside. It would make, make a good one for all of them. So the next one I got was this two-piece outfit. It's just like a little mini. And this one is a size medium, guys, and it's by Sheen. Well, it's almost knee length. And then it has just like this little tube top crop top. So this will be good for poolside, for vacation, for the beach, for a day in the park, you know, a day of sexiness. Yeah. Then I got this little three-piece outfit. This is super cute. Somebody's going to love this. I mean, even though it's, I didn't get it for the brand, I did actually like this. I got it for the style. It's so cute. So it's just like these little um, leaf pattern shorts. That's also a, you know, a poolside pair of shorts, a beach out day in the park, you know. It's so cute. They are stretchy. And it came with this little cute top. So it has like the fluttered sleeves. It's just like this little crop top. It's really cute. And then it also came with this. You know you can wear it in your hair. You can wear it in your hair. You can wear it around the shorts of that. I mean, you can do numerous things with this. You can wear it as a hair tie if you want your hair back. You can wrap around your ponytail. So yeah, I mean, that was a decent, it was only 20 bucks. So we're just gonna get into uh, my hard, hard goods now, guys. I normally don't pick up hard goods, but I'm starting to pick up more because I know that I really want to get into them. First off, I got these, I got three of these. Um, they're all the 1931 to 1981 Happy Birthday uh, Pluto Plates. They're Walt Disney characters. They're all three the same. It's by Schmid. This is, there was 7,500 made, and this was a 3,494th one. So, let's have a hanger on the back. So I got three of these. Picked up these, uh, I'm, gonna set, I'm just gonna sell these as a set, of course. They're just four Star Wars books. This one's uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Rescue Mission, The Evil Empire, and The Final Battle. Was I got this cute little tin the other day. Uh, I paid uh, 50 cents for it. It was, it's, was made in 1982. It's a Hershey Foods. It was by the Hershey Foods Corporation. It's just a tin. It was made in England. And then here's the front of it. This could be a nice little stash jar. Uh, keep stuff in. Maybe your rings. I don't know. But that's cute. I'm waiting on keeping that. I like that. The next thing I got, I got three of these. Um, they're all different. But they are the Seen It DVD games. Um... This one is the 
has seen it, the DV, uh, the movie trivia. This one's movie trivia. I paid $1.99 for this one. I think the comps were around $25. This one is the Disney Seen It. This one actually comps for around $70. And then I got this one. It's the Seen It Juniors. It's uh, just music, movies, TV, sports, trivia. This one I paid... One of them I paid $0.99. Cents, two of them I paid $0.99 cents for. So it had to have been these two. Yeah, these two were $0.99. Cents. The Disney one that comps for $0.70, that was $0.99. Cents. So the next one I got was uh, this uh, Connect 4 launchers. I think the comps were 19 I got this for $0.99. Cents. This one is Get a Grip. I bought this one for $1.99. It retailed for $21.99 at Kmart. It is reselling for, I think, $18. This is the uh, Star Wars, the Parker Brothers Star Wars uh, game. It was from KB Toys. It looks like. So, this is a vintage game. It does come with all the pieces. I did look, except one. Includes two action, uh, two exclusive action figures. It only has one, so it only—it's not even part of the game. <clears throat> but yeah, it has all the pieces. It has like the lightsaber. <laughs> it's really cool, guys. It's like little men and directions. I think this one was reselling for thirty. It is vintage. Like I said, it's from 1998, and it does include one of the figures. I picked this up when I picked the tin up. It's a Pepsi. It's a Tweety Bird Pepsi glass. It's vintage. It's from 1973. It's from the Warner Brothers. I picked that up for everything that I got there was half price. So I picked that up for 50 cents. Two, it said a dollar. So I paid 50 cents for it. It's just like a little vintage California miniature uh, mug. It's like a souvi souvenir. Sorry. Okay, I, oh oh wait a minute. No, that wasn't it. I picked up more of these games. That's right. They would take this. Okay, so you guys remember these? <laughs> oh, this is like the newer version of the Boppets. But these were uh, reselling. I paid two ninety nine for it. And these were reselling for twenty, I believe. It's a Simon Swipe. So yeah. The other day I went to a thrift store, and this is well. I got this at the same time I got these. I paid five bucks for this Under Armour hat just because I didn't want to leech anything. I know it's bad, but yeah, nothing else fell that way. Great. store, and I got, I spent uh, 10 bucks. No, I spent more than 10 bucks. I spent 22. I spent $22. I got this, uh, I got three vintage cookbooks. They're all by Campbell's. This is the first vintage cookbook. It is, um, just a treasury of Campbell's recipes, a Crescent Books. It was a, uh, it's from 1991. <coughs> it's in perfect condition. So I got that to resell. I also got, um, hmm, people's favorite recipes. I also got this uh, Campbell's Simply Delicious Recipes. It's more than 125 great recipes. It is uh, vintage also, 1992. Good condition. And then, oh, this one's not Campbell's. This one's Betty Crocker. I like this one. This one I end up going in my kitchen somewhere, like, as a decoration. Just depends. It's one of those older ones. I think this one's from the 70s. Here. 1973. It's from the 70s. This is the 18th printing. The copyright was 1969 by General Mills, and this was printed in 1973. Okay. I also picked up this vintage... Um, uh, Talking Elmo from Tyco. It's a it's a night from the, the 1995. It's... <laughs> that tickles. That tickles. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah, boy. Broke. He 
needs new batteries. This was the batteries that was in him, but... Yeah, he's going to sit right there with me. I paid six ninety nine for him. Did, did I pay up for him too much, guys? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, so I also got these boy bears. I forgot my phone in the car, and I was being lazy and didn't want to go get it. Now, I do have to clean them. And I actually might keep him for my decoration, because I like primitive stuff. But I paid three ninety nine for him, four ninety nine for him. If I wanted to resell them as a set, I'd probably get twenty bucks. But I don't know anything about Boyd's Bears. Oh, that one don't have a tag. I didn't look at that one after I looked at. This one has a. T I don't think this. One, I think this one's a knockoff. And it's just, this one would be definitely decoration. I might sell this one. I think about toys, guys. And like I said, i just seen these toys. I've seen somewhere, like, they show a lot. There's some of these vintage toys worth a lot. These just looked really cool. I don't even know if I got anything. I have not looked them up. I've had them for about a week. These people are. Do you know who our friends are? Oh, they're cute. Oh, my God. Like, if they're our doubles, they're all wearing different items. Except the ones that are naked. Well, here's a life jacket for one of them. See the babies? Oh! Oh, how cute is that? These are little ones. And they get life jackets. Oh, my goodness. I didn't play with toys as a kid. Like, I didn't watch cartoons. I watched scary movies. I didn't, I've never been into cartoons. Scary movies and game shows. Game shows were my cartoons. Like, I can, I can guess any number on the Price is Right. Like, Price is Right was my shit. Ask my mammy. She'll tell you, like, I was all about some Price is Right. Oh, we got even smaller ones. Look, you guys. Oh, my God. I love them. I want to keep them, but I'm not going to because... I might play with them all the time. <laughs> you guys might never see me on YouTube again. Oh, and they got little, oh, little flippers. Oh, this, I'm so glad I picked this up, even if it was just for my entertainment, you know. Oh, and here's a paddle to the rowboat. The rowboat goes with them. Oh, and the little babies go in the rowboat with the life, life vest. <gasps> How cute is that? Oh, one of these get a hat. They fit it with their ears. I think it's you, buddy. No, do that on you. I think it's you, Mr. Pig. It is. Oh, my God. I gotta have one. Sorry, guys. I know. I'll try to edit this out. Okay, guys. Mm, that looked cool. There's a little bit of damage to the um, tag on this one. It is a tie, Beanie Baby. It's like a little dragon, and I can see what it's made of. I can see the tie, but I cannot see what year. Oh, yes. Okay, and then we got a little seahorse. This is vintage, 1999, excellent condition. So that one's vintage. This one is, this one's Pablo. It's a tie beanie baby. Oh, no, 2016, sorry. This one just looks like it from McDonald's or something. It's the Basket Beanies collection. This is Petonia. 2011. Still has the tie. Oh, there's the tie. It was an Easter one, yeah. This one was also, a, this was a Teeny Ties. This is a pocket Beanie Baby. It still has the tags. This is in, oh, look how cute. 2014. I'm so glad you guys joined me. I, uh, I wish you guys would leave me a couple of videos or a couple of video ideas. What would you guys like to see me do? Like, would you guys like more how-to videos like the sweater shaving one and the hair curler or the sweater shaving one and the tennis shoe one? Would you like more hauls? Would you like just chit chats? I mean, what do you guys want? I'm, I'm all about you know, try getting different ideas. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I really want to connect with more people. 
if I don't respond back to your YouTube comment, that's just because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, YouTube is really awkward on the way they leave your comments. Like, you have two different, you have a YouTube studio and then you have a YouTube. Some of your comments will be on the YouTube, some of them will be on the YouTube studio. Like, maybe it's just me that I've, it's user malfunction. I don't know. But if anybody has any pointers on how I can, like, better get acquainted with YouTube, I've watched all kinds of videos. Let me know. Um, if there's anything in here that you guys seen that you would like, you guys can hit me up on my email. It's Nicole D. Taylor 1983 at gmail.com. I will leave that linked down below. I'm sure we can work out a pretty good deal. I want to kind of venture off into also doing Facebook uh, local. I don't really know where to begin selling locally. I mean, do I sell like the same stuff like I would sell on eBay like these games or do I need to have like better quality items? I'm trying to still figure it out. So if you guys have any pointers on any other platforms, let me know, please. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, guys, so we're going to get right into the clothing part of this. First, I think I might have showed this my last one. I recorded so many uh, haul videos and did not post them because I was not satisfied with them. I was having a really bad week that week, and I just wasn't. I didn't want to give you guys half-assed content. Or act like I had attitude doing this. So this is just a men's DKNY. It's just like this maroon, purple, long sleeve button down. It's a size um, small slim. I picked this up last week at the um, 99 or the 49 cent tag at Goodwill. It's a uh, Anthropology uh, Mave. It's just this Aztec short sleeved knit open front cardigan with this fringe on the bottom. It's a size medium. They first went at $4.19 for it, which wasn't bad. But like I said, I paid 49 cents. I also got this. I, th I don't know which thrift store I got this at, honestly. I think it might have been the ones I got the games at, just because no tags. Okay, so it's just this, uh, like a duster, like a hooded duster uh, style open front cardigan. It's by Daily Ritual. It's a two extra, it's a two XL. It's like this really heavy, like, slinky material. It's like this heather gray blue. So that's nice. I also picked up this Lane Bryant girl skirt. It is a size... Oh, it's a new with tags, too. I forgot this was new with tags. It's a size 18. Um, there were cell tags on it. No. They wanted 30 bucks for this at first. And it, I got it in a bag sale. That's right. This is a... This, so just a new with tags, Lane Bryant. Uh, knee high skirt plus size it does have the ruffle is that a faux? nope it's all the way it's not a faux so that's nice I 11 they're uh, rock aware the reason I got them was the pockets I mean they are medium they're a medium rise but the pockets are embellished they're really nice but I think somebody's hemmed these so I'm going to try to take this hem out. It doesn't look... Nope, they're hemmed. I'll have to put the measurements in there. I mean, they cut them. I'm just gonna... It's just not a release kind. But yeah, I'll put the measurements in there. If nothing else, I'm going to go ahead and list them probably as customized crops. That's all it customizes. It means that it's altered in some way. So these are cut and they're super stretchy. Wow. But I, mean, I almost thought about keeping these. And now that I think I just turned them into a uh, crop caprice, I think I might. This is a new with tags. Tease me brown strapless uh, mini dress with pockets. You could wear it to a cocktail party. You could wear it to, um, I got this at Goodwill. It was 49 cents too. They originally wanted $8.19 for it. But it's a size 5. It, uh, you can wear it at a cocktail, a uh, semi-formal, a wedding. This could be numerous things. Numerous things, guys. It does have a full back zip or a half back zip, I mean. It is uh, made up. It has some spandex in it, guys. I've already showed you guys that one. The next thing I picked up was this Heather Gray, uh, Blue and Gray Maxi Skirt. It is... It's like a heavier kind of material, but it's almost like... You'd have to wear a slip with this, definitely. But it's a, like a maxi. Drag the floor a little bit. It's really cute. It is a size small. 
This is a tickled teal. Just the stri uh, everyday comfort t-shirt. It's like a slinky material. It is made. Well, there's no, is no content tag, but I'm gonna you just have to take my my I might end up keeping that. I like that. I have lost it for a little while, but I ended up deciding I didn't want it. I try not to keep white at all. For one, um me, me and white don't get along. I think I do that every time I say white. But also I have uh sulfur water. If any of you guys know what that is. So it'll leave like yeah, we have a really good water filtration system, but it still is shitty. <laughs> but this is a sugar fly, um, just like a, a little, just like peacoat kind of, like it's a, a canvas. It's made out of 100% cotton. It's a size large. It is, it fits more like a medium because I was a little worried about how tight it was on me. Next thing I picked up the other day was this cabbie shirt. It's like, it's like a strappy cabbie uh, tank top. No, no, sorry, sorry guys, sorry. It's Maeve, Anthropology Maeve. It's the new, it's the new tag, or maybe it's the old tag, and that was the new tag. One of these are the old one or the new. But it's just like this olive green, um, spandex rayon tank with the straps in the back. That is a size extra large. That's the first time I've ever found on my own found a bigger size in Maeve. Up. This Liberty of Love, it's a sheer floral pink, uh, ruffled trumpet sleeves, open front cardigan. <laughs> it's a size uh, small. It's, it's, it smells good. It smells like my laundry detergent. I also picked up this from Goodwill. It's called Arm Amour Vert. It looks like a nice shirt, guys. It feels like an expensive shirt. I'm just saying going by filling. I've actually never seen this brand. It is a key, it's a keyhole, it has a keyhole back, it has a keyhole opening in the back. It is like this crisscross or crossover um, front tank uh, mock neck blouse, I'm thinking. It is a size large. It is made in the USA. I do see that. Isn't that what Tinsel Till tells me? I keep everything. So this is a shirt by, it's a cold shoulder uh, quarter length shirt by Spencer. It's like this ombre type dill. No, it's not ombre. This is, I forget what kind of material you guys call this. But it has the tie front, has the cold shoulders, has the ruffled uh, sleeve, three quarter sleeve. It's a, it's a nice shirt. It's a size medium and it's by Spence. It's like this really pretty blue color. I'll let you guys look at it. I got this. Express pencil skirt. It's a size 12. It's just a black staple to anybody's closet, um, career style, church going skirt. Back enclosure. Like I said, it's a size 14. I picked up this Lane Bryant plus size. Um, no, no, sorry, it says Lane, Lane Bryant. Torrid. It's the older Torrid, I believe. Size 16. Um, this fall or this summery uh, spring skirt it is like a flowy skirt it zips up never mind it's not getting sold see everybody makes mistakes guys look at that I don't sew if anybody wants this to fix in half feel free all you have to do is pay shipping I got these um, really cute I wish they were sort of bigger <laughs> they're a high-waisted endless love size small. They're like this faux suede skinny legging button up zip though. I mean it's like leggings material. It's hand wash cold. It's it's a 90% polyester, 10% spandex. Hand wash cold or gentle cycle. Okay. Um M facing size large pair of like career slacks. They're the straight legs, high-waisted. They also uh, tie up the front and uh, tie, or lace up the front and tie. This is the tag, guys. It 
So yeah, they're just like this plaid, this checkered plaid, black and white career style pant. I also picked up these um, Gap Slim City uh, Point four regular career slacks. They're they have they're like the cropped legs with a little thing thing. They are regular. Nope. They're Gap Factory. They're not. never say this on my on my um, channel, but or rarely ever. The, you know, if you don't know what the Goodwill outlet is, it's a place where you go where like all the surplus goes that the Goodwills couldn't sell, and then they also get raw donations. And it's a pay by the pound um, outlet. It's um, in every state but five, I believe. Yeah, I've checked all of them. Um, I also, I'm a reseller. I'm new at this. I'm just right over a year. This is a learning process for me, just as well as it could be for you. We could uh, walk this journey in life together and be PFFs or eBay FFs. <laughs> I made that up myself. <laughs> Y'all stupid. I'm poor. I did pick up Alfani the other day because these pants were cute. They were plus size. They're straight legs. They're elastic waistband with the like little zips details on, on, on the side of them. You know, these are so cute. Okay. This is a say anything. It looks like a vent. Well, I know it's vintage, I believe. Maybe, guys, or not. It's a size extra large. It's just this asymmetrical crocheted with the lining underneath it um, skirt. It'll be really cute for the beach, guys. A date, anything. So, next, I have these ban Banana Republic. They're just regular Banana Republic, not factory. Excuse me, Banana Republic, not Banana Republic Factory. They're a size six. They do need a um, lint rolled. They're just like these, they have these button detail on each side. They, it's a size up enclosure. It has the V in the back. Um, they are straight leg. They're, they're super cute. I thought about keeping these for me, but I don't know if they'll fit, and I'm disappointed to try on them. Um, Kimmy showed the, or on her channel the other day, they were like, do you still pick up uh, Cut From The Cloth? I do, and I told him I do. I do. Cut From The Cloth sells for me, as it's, you know, not terrible wear, and I usually do not pick up super low waisted Cut From The Cloth, or I don't pick up boot cut anymore of Cut In The Cloth. Usually it's just skinny and straights, but they're just this coral color cropped straight leg. These are, and plus they're plus size. No, they're just size 10. And these are a size 10, guys. These next few items are from a, um, a place I, whenever I went to a flea market the other day, it was just, they had a bunch of, you know, it was this, it was this older couple, and that's who I bought the 10s from, and I didn't know his wife was in the one next door, but that one was, you donated to them. And then they donated that, you know, you got to go get whatever you wanted throughout whatever they had. And then you donated something to them, and then they have three charities, and you pick which charity that you wanted to go to. So I picked Animal Society, but the first thing I got was this vintage Fruit of the Loom Made in the USA Extra Large Punsmus. It's somewhere in California, I know that. It's from 1990, this t-shirt is. It has that, it's where that train is in California. There's, I mean, it's really nice. You know, it has single stitching. It's a navy blue. It has those bright colors. I think this is going to sell super quick. I don't know how much it's going to sell for because I've never tried to sell a vintage t-shirt. So I'm looking forward to that. And I also picked up these, um, these are Columbia plus, uh, size 12 black corduroy straight legged pants. I think they might even be longs. Yep, I knew it. They're a 12 long. Oops, sorry guys. They're in really good condition. Oh, I would have donated to them. Even if I didn't find anything, I would have still donated to them. But this next item, I feel is worth it. I mean, it's really pretty. I don't, I never, I didn't even look it up. But. Oh. It's this red hot fiery red hold on this is 
so pretty. It's just like this uh, formal dress. You can wear it just about anywhere. I mean, just to dinner. It's a size 4. It's a Rex Lester. It's an acetate and polyester. The lining is 100% um, acetate. It's dry clean only. I mean, it is so effing beautiful. If it would fit me, I would keep it. Don't ask me where I'd wear it to, but it won't fit me. I mean, it's just, like, lovely. I can't explain the color of it. I mean, it's red, red. It's such a pretty, vibrant red. So, yeah, I mean, that right there was worth, worth it to me, I feel. And then I picked up one other piece. I got that vintage t-shirt, this. And I have not listed it yet. I haven't even looked it up. You ready? 